once you get out on the ocean, you can't help but understand it's the biggest, most powerful thing on Earth. You live, you die, it's the in-between that counts. Ray Eldred said so, right? The part that I'm personally involved with is, uh, has to do with the relationship between a father and a son, which is a very old theme. Yes or no? No. I'd like to help you out, Ray, but y y you make it pretty goddamn tough. In the case of Tom and Eldridge, it's, they, they're the same person in a lot of ways, and they've had a difficult past together. You can't work with people, can't get along. You know why I fish? Because when I'm out at sea, every asshole disappears! Ben Foster plays Tom. He's absolutely incredible. He's just fascinating to watch. He's got this volatile, Tom. almost unhinged quality about him that he shares with Tom. He set us up. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, Tom, he set us up! Tom was a bit of a guide for Charlie. I want to go fishing. Why? I'm curious. Curious about what, Charlie? I love, I love Toby. He's kind of hard not to. Mabel! Charlie! They're both kind of in the same place in life, trying to move past what, what they've been raised as or what they've been doing in the past. It's just where I'm from, right? It's not where I'm going. OK. If we got Jenna Ortega. I always say she's the Navy SEAL of the cast, because she just comes in, bangs away, and leaves no prisoners, and walks off in two takes. I'll tell you when to stop. I'm not your father, Charlie. I'm that son of a bitch, Ray Eldridge, everybody tries to steer clear of. Tommy Lee Jones, uh, you're getting to, you know, paint with a master painter. And I've admired his work for years. Tommy did a scene the other day where he gets out of the car, and as he's getting out of the guy, he, he says, finest car, and he did it like, the finest kind. And everyone went, oh, that's how you say it. Finest kind. That's exactly how you say it. When I read the script, I just said, I need to get out there. I've never fished a day in my life. The first time that I got on the boat to do some training, it was docked, and I got seasick. <laughs> I thought it would be invaluable if several members of the cast at least went to sea and learned a little bit about what it was like. It was an adventure, and struggling with the elements out there. Green water's coming over the ship. People are sliding around. It was crazy. It was this experience that I'll never forget. And at times, it was a nightmare. We're all losing it. But that experience definitely bonded us together, which I think is an important aspect of our characters in the movie and our chemistry together. Yeah. It's been amazing. We all formed like a really, really good relationship and connection. <laughs> There's just really good chemistry between everybody. They're very playful, but, but very, very good at what they do and very respectful. Brian is really great because he trusts us to kind of take our characters to where we have to take them. And Ray wants to give actors the space to do what they need to do. Being surrounded by so much commitment and talent, it takes it to another level. We become engines for each other. The rhythm of a scene in this movie is uh, discovered by actors as they play that scene. The scene's born alive. Outward bound.